Up until I quit, I get knee deep in shit by diving into the robo pit. This is Saturn Archives. <laughs> As always, skip to the time on the screen if you want to get straight to gameplay. Alright, as per usual, let's uh, criticize artists that are not very good but still more talented than myself. Uh, right off the bat, RoboPit does uh, not, you know, it doesn't hide anything from you. It is about robots fighting. Here they are mid-coitus, as you can see. It's, uh, they're oozing on and under the uh, Saturn logo, which is kind of a thing I like. And uh, yeah, this is straightforward. We, let's just move straight onto the back. Smash your way to the top of the future's toughest fighting tournament. Construct a custom mech fighter and battle with deadly weapons scavenged from destroyed opponents. Assemble your monster machine using custom parts, body, face, base, and weapon arms. Rattle bolts in an incredible interactive arenas, pummeling opponents with projectiles or pounding them off the edge. Become the top bot by reducing over 100 mechanized killers to scrap metal using special moves and devastating weapons. Create mechanized mayhem with hundreds of weapon combinations, punching arms, swords, grabbers, cutters, missiles, lasers, and more. And then you can also save your toughest robots to use in intense two-player head-to-head battle. Unfortunately, I won't be asking any of my friends to suffer something like that. But I'll definitely talk about how I've done so in the past. Moving past the basic how to use your Saturn, how to insert a disc, how to operate a controller shenanigans, we're uh, noticing right away that this... Uh, Manual's very black. You know, they're they're not afraid to uh, use that ink and making a very, very dark, uh, very dark pages with white text, which is uh, kind of nice. Oh, we have this confidential special invitation. All right, let's read this invitation. The Robo Pit battles were initiated in 2042 when all forms of physical violence against organic life forms were outlawed. The wealthiest corporations sponsor enormous sums of credits to develop advanced artificial intelligence fighting machines to do battle with one another. Triumphant corporations and robot creators acquire a considerable prestige and profit. Any form of traditional or experimental weapon system may be used in the single bout battles. The only regulation being that the winning machine must remain functional at the end of the battle. Advancement in the tournament is by elimination, and victorious robots may be upgraded with components of defeated competitors. In the strictest confidence, you have been invited to construct a fighter to enter the Robo Pit. Details attached. And this is a read once message. This could be deleted. I'm gonna let you know a little spoiler though. I read that earlier when I was looking through the manual, and it's still here. Uh, so right off the bat, it's you know it's telling us about all the options that are going to be in the thing, but this game's actually Despite how complicated the manual is making it seem, the game is actually very simple, and we're going to see that. I really don't need to read all of this. It's just it's literally just walking you through the very obvious uh, gameplay. It does tell you about the different weapon types and what they do, which is uh, pretty cool. But I'm actually we're going to go ahead and try that out for ourselves instead of reading too into them. It tells you how to change it, how you can change your colors, how skills improve and whatnot this uh this book is way thicker than it needs to be this is actually a super simple game and it has just this weird cg renditions of robots you can create that obviously don't look nearly that nice in the game which uh a lot of times actually look pretty awful in the game but you know we're gonna get all to that usually i just go into these for lore and stuff and uh you know learning how to play but uh Again, this is just, it's telling me the three different views and giving me a description of all these. How to earn points, adding to your arsenal. We know how to add, you just defeat things. The uh, the back of the box and that little invitation thing we got is pretty much all you really need to know. Except for perhaps the special attacks, that's kind of good to know. You can, you can press A or B to do a dive or forward, forward, A or B to use your special. And uh, that's it, and it tells you how to embarrass your friends into playing this game. There's no notes. Cause like I said, you know, there's no there's no no notes to be taken here. That is one catchy ass tune. I remember back in the day, I used to be crazy about this game. About Robo Pit. 
So I'd hear that little tune an awful lot. And it's a catchy tune. You find yourself whistling it. Well, I can't whistle. But if I could, I'd be whistling it. I was humming it, though. That, that much I am at least capable of. So I don't know what it was about this, this shitty little robot game that I was so into. Maybe because I thought cust I always loved customization. Or maybe it was because, you know, I could save multiple robots and I got my friends into it. Maybe it was this killer CG opening that really sold it to me. I can't say for sure. Because it's been a long time. And if this, if nothing else, is this series not to relive those, those old times and see if they're still good times? Okay, so right off the bit, right off the batch, right off the bat, I literally just took one sip of a drink that I'm starting tonight, and I've already made three attempts to say a single word. There's a lot of options here, but do not be overwhelmed by it. These are all pretty straightforward. The uh, instruction manual walks you through it so nicely. What is information? Oh, it just tells you about all of them. That's kind of cool, except we have these no data guys. These are bosses. They're a secret. All right, so first thing we need to do is we need to robot making. Because we don't have a robot with which, a robo with which to pit. Oh, I gotta, so we're starting with a body. There's a, there's a lot of cool ones, a lot of weird ones. This is an upside down bell. I'm really leaning towards this one. I don't know. Oh, that one's pretty cool too. See, I like... As you might be able to tell by my my Genocyber, is that the front though? I can't. Oh yeah, it is the front. I'm looking at. I like the curled back horns, and I guess antenna are kind of like horns. So anything that curls backwards. See, that's kind of cool too, because it also resembles pigtails, which I'm a a big pervert for. Oh, that just that's vaguely racist. Uh, you know what? I remember back in the day, this was the body I always went for. So I don't want to go for this one. I think I'm. I think I was really feeling this. I'm torn between this one and that one. They have they have stats on the side, but I mean, it's really all about the visuals. No, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go with this one. I'm liking it. I gotta pick a color palette too. And you know it's gonna be pink. That's my favorite color. I don't even didn't. Oh wait, maybe I want to look at the rest of these. Do I want to look at this one? Oh, that's like an awkward tan. It's like an awkward flesh color. Yellow black's a pretty nice color scheme. I'm a bit fond of that too, but I gotta go with pink. And now, of course. <laughs> Like any proper robot, it needs eyes. We need to put some some stupid rare eyes on it. Oh, do I want sexy eyes? Do I want the the bed the bedtime eyes? Do I want the uh, the Asian eyes or the very Asian eyes? I got dopey. I got robot-y. This one's clipping through the front of my body, so I don't think that's a good one. I don't know. I'm not gonna lie. I don't really like any of these. You know, I think I'm gonna go with this one just because it has it's the least visible. I guess the black dots. No, that looks too beady. It makes it look like an insect. Yeah, I'm gonna go with these. Oh, I can change the color of my legs individually. That's pretty cool. What kind of legs do I want though? Oh, that's pretty cool. It looks a bit weird. It looks huge on the on the body. Most of these do. I don't have a whole lot of options for these. I, I imagine I'm gonna unlock some more. I remember unlocking a lot of weapons, but I don't really know about bodies, legs, and eyes. These ones don't even appear to be attached, so I really don't want those. And like some some of these are like, for example, this one is like 264200. This is 28470. So it's like I could sacrifice a lot of jump for for just a bit more walk. I think I'm gonna go with this one. I'm really feeling this base. Do I want to have a different color? Or do I want it all to be consistent? I don't know. Let's, uh, you know what? I, I do like black a lot. I'm, I'm going to go with the pink body black thing. Now we got to start with arms, of course. This is this is really important because this is what I'm going to be defeating my enemy with. And I'm going to try to use a variety here. Because as we're seeing, there's quite a couple types. Punches, you know, your close punch. Gun is obviously a range with limited ammo. Hammer, I think that's like a medium range one that just extends forward and then comes back to you, but your static while that's happening, 
A sword, of course, is like a slash. It's slower than a punch. Shield is obviously, you know, more defense. And Lance is like a, a medium range attack, I guess? Not a big fan of it, because it's the only one that you can't change the color of. I don't really know what that's all about. All right, so I'm going with I'm going with sword and the and the mace thing, and I really like that it's it's allowing me to name it afterwards. A lot of times it makes you start with the name, and I don't know, I don't know, like I feel like I want to see what it looks like before I give it a name. So I'm glad we're I'm glad it's going in the proper order. All right, so I'm pretty satisfied with the name Glomstink. Don't ask me how I came up with Glomstink. Like with a lot of times when I'm naming things, I don't particularly care about. I just throw a couple syllables together and 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 it's whatever i i don't need to train i need to get straight to fighting i'm gonna fight as glomstink and uh right off the bat i have quite a bit of opponents i can choose from you can't choose all of the 100 i think uh, there's a limit yeah okay so it's like the 20 ab above you and everything below you one thing you may want to take into consideration when choosing an opponent isn't so much because of course you know as you as you get more points, you get higher in rank. But uh, another thing you want to consider is the weapon that they have. That maybe you want that weapon. For example, see that heavy hammer? Of course he has a lance, which I do have, but I didn't have a heavy hammer. In this one, I don't have the big mouth. I didn't have spear or trident. Oh, dagger is something I'm going to want because I like quick things. Spear and, and the Terran, which I guess is like a, a stabby shield. There's, there's a lot of arms to choose from, obviously. I mean, they gotta have you coming for something. I really want that dagger, so I'm gonna fight Guppy first. You can you can set it to auto-fight if you don't want to have control. But that's for cowards. Surprisingly flat, surprisingly fast load time. Okay. So A is left attack, B is right attack. Of course, you got your side steps on L and R. It's oh, it's it's first person by default for whatever reason. Oh, he's getting above me. And the view, when they jump, the view will follow them. You can press Z to change the view. Strongly recommend you do that. Okay. See, when I do that, I can't move until it's come back. Oh, he's going for lunch. C, C is jump. Oh, and if I can, when I sidestep, of course, it turns my treads. But if I jump and sidestep, it just moves me forward. I think I just got a warning. Yeah, we both have our specials right now, which you can do by pressing A and B together. So I'm going to try to do that on him. If, if you couldn't tell, the controlling is difficult. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, I just got it. All right, I'm finding it. Because if it hits him, it comes back sooner, and then I can launch it again. But if you miss, you got you got a big old weakness. Oh, he used his special. So when I did the twirling special just now, that was my A and B at the same time. But if you press forward, forward, followed by a thing, you do a special of that weapon. So I'll see if I can do that with... Uh, See, I just did a... You couldn't really tell because he was very close, but I did a, a large version of my uh, my mace attack there. And I totally defeated Guppy, but it was close. Gloomstink almost couldn't do it. Glomstink. I forgot his name already. All right, I'm the winner. I got 20 points, and that did not change my rank, but I did get a trident and a dagger. My right arm skill went up 5, left arm went up 5, defense is plus 1. So my stats are going up all the time. Let's uh, let's change my arms a bit for Glomstink here. Now I went with sword and that was pretty good, but I, I want dagger now, I want fast attacks. And for the other one, why don't we try the new trident? Uh, one thing I think is an issue is if you lose, I believe you may lose those weapons as well. And I think that uh, when that power went up, I think that might have been exclusive to the weapon I was using. Yeah, see how I have that skill of 5%? I had a 5% increase on sword. Not necessarily right arm or left arm, but that specific item. And I don't think that transfers over to other sword types. So if I was to get like a different sword uh, or like a different 
heavy hammer or whatever. I, uh, it's, you know, you're, you're gonna lose that progress. Which is why it encourages you, if you're at 100, just start using something else. Just work that up so you have all your options available. Whatever the case, I want to try out a number of different weapons before we call it quits on this one. So I'm still still rank 101. That's a little depressing. I can't can't fight anyone higher than 81. Do I want to go? Do I want to go balls deep and just you know just to fight someone that's like way up there? All right. So Napoleon has a Kama. I'm I think I'm really feeling that. So let's dive right into this. As you can see, the the stages do change randomly. I have no no control over that. Get up on here though. Oh, he's got a ranged weapon too. Oh, his came is so strong. He's kicking my ass. Oh, jeez, this was bad. Gotta find the sweet spot. Oh, and he fucking finished me with a special right away. This guy got huge fucking damage. Alright. Uh, maybe I've been off a bit more than I could chew. I lost my tagger and my trident right away. I lost 12 points. Rank does not change. Skill does not change. And now, <laughs> because I lost my weapons, I'm just down to punch. Alright, let's change my arms up again. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick on this guy because this guy is a. I, I remember him being a pretty unique thing. His name's Techie Techie, and uh, both of his uh, arms are just the Techie arm. He's got 100% skill in them, but as you can see, they're pretty weak. He's a special robot. As you can see, these are all made up of different parts that I could obtain. You know, we're seeing a lot of body similarities, colors, weapons, and legs and stuff. This guy is a unique one. I don't know what his story is. But uh, he's a unique one. Maybe he's just like a, a fun little guy that at the beginning to get you, you know, quick rank up to start. So it's not such a crawl. I don't know how easy this fight's going to be. Oh, he's a quick one, though. So uh, right now I'm going with Lance and Gun. Oh, his techie tech arms can pick stuff up. That ain't great. So uh, as I read in the instruction manual... You can pick up stuff and throw them. It is a punch-only thing, though. Alright. Alright, you're dealing more damage than I'm dealing. That's not, that's not okay. Oh, got a big lance in there, though. I used my special on my lance. I used a special on the techie arm, which wasn't great. I didn't realize he was so fast. There's no way my bullets are going to hit him. Except those ones. Maybe I need to go first person. Wait, no, that's a terrible idea. He's too fast. It's like fighting a fucking Xenomorph. One way of attacking I'm aware of, because I used it to cheap out a boss, is if you land on the guy, I think some damage is done if you land on an enemy. Anyways, I have special again, so let's see if I can line him up. Oh, I still nicked him, yeah. He keeps interrupting my attack. He's so fast. Ugh. Oh no, stop picking stuff up. Ow! It's alright, he's almost down. One bullet. There we go. Wow, I'm quickly I'm quickly remembering why I got so addicted to this piece of shit game. <laughs> I'm really feeling it. I'm really getting into this. I, I need to get his techie arms, of course. Uh, you really shouldn't bother using them. And my rank went up. 62 points, ranks up to 97. Look at all that skill up. So yeah, I think I was right in my assumption that uh, he's there for a quick rank up when you start. All right, so now that I am 97, it automatically starts me at the 96 here. I think the idea is it encourages you to go in order. If you really want to fight all of these opponents, you absolutely can. And I'm pretty sure that I did. Can I reach a boss yet? No, not quite. So I think I'm going to fight Metalhead next. I was looking at their uh, their power levels over there, and I think uh, my mistake was fighting someone with a pretty high power level. Let's change my arms real quick, though, because like I said, we gotta we gotta keep it fresh. I'm not using the techie arms, though. Shut up. I wonder if shield counts as a punch, and I'll be able to pick stuff up with it. Why don't we give that a try? 
All right. Uh, is it? Nope. It does not count as a punch. Cause I'm pretty sure I'd be able to pick that up. Oh yeah, I forgot. X and Y is block. Oh yeah, that's that's when you get them when they're when they've run around and showed you their back for no particular reason. Oh. Oh, see, that's that's got a bit of a swing. Oh yeah, his thing like with the hammer, as you can see, it reacts the same way where it makes him static. But uh, because it's got that lips on it, them them good sucking lips. It uh. I'm pretty sure it pulls me towards him. Oh, there we go. That's the stuff. Oh, I blocked his special, but I'm still taking a ton of damage. This is a punishing game. Yeah, just throw your combos at nothing in particular. Yeah, this... Okay, so if I'm just tapping a... It's a straight stab. Oh, I'm not dealing nearly enough damage. But if I, if I'm holding left or right, it does that that sweeping one. I'm pretty. Yeah, I'm down. Why are all their names in capitals? I mean, the lowercase option was there. Be reasonable. Now it just seems like you're shouting all the time. Maybe that's me just being mad because I keep losing. I <laughs> lost my shield and my lance. I'm not gonna have any of my. I'm not gonna have any of my original weapons left. I don't remember it being so hard. All right, so this is what we're gonna do this time. Clearly I suck at this video game as I make it apparent every time I stream or make a video or do anything. So we're gonna auto fight. I know I said it was for cowards, but I just wanna look at it. Right off the bat, this is pretty, can I change the view? Okay, so I can change it to first person. I can change it to the, the other two views I have available. But I also have this, like, ranged one that uh, makes it look more like a fighting game, and that's pretty cool. And, like, holy shit, is the AI way better than me. Like, he knows... He fucking blocks a special? Look at, look at how good he is! So in the instruction manual, it did say if you just want to build robots and not necessarily do the gameplay, that's what auto-fighting is for. And like, holy shit, is this an improvement? The match was so much faster. My robot did so much better. It's pretty obvious to me now that it's me that is holding Glom Stink back. All right, so I've equipped the heavy hammer I just picked up and I'm gonna just go with a basic punch. And uh, you know what, Glom Stink? Let's see what you can do. Get revenge on Metalhead for what he's done. See, I thought he'd be a pushover, because one thing was a shield, and the other thing was just a, a suck thing. So, let's see if it is... Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, it looks like the hammer has a similar function, where if you just tap it, it's a forward, like, smash. But it seems to have a swoop, much like the lance did, if you're holding a direction. Oh, he did a special in the air. It sure looked cool, but that, that's just a waste. That's just showboating. Yeah, de definitely. So when I played this game as a kid, I literally never did this. I, I mean, I don't mean to brag about my skills, because as I've demonstrated, I no longer have them. But I remember when I made a robot, and maybe it's the setup, because I used the, the spider legs. Oh, come on, Glomstink, you can do it. It's, it's, it's really down to the wire, isn't it? Damn it. Metalhead has defeated us once again, even even without the burden that is my input. Glomstein couldn't defeat Metalhead. That's just disappointing, isn't it? I lost my heavy hammer. But you can't lose your punch. Because then that would just literally leave you with nothing. Alright, so clearly we need to be grinding on, on Techie Techie a little bit. Because it's an easy fight. So easy that even I could do it. Like my this he has like backwards hops and stuff. How does he have hops? Lomsting has like these like backwards hops that are like getting him into primo maneuverability. Look at how fast he is. But anyways, yeah, as a kid I never used this. I always fought. And I did beat the game. 
I had to cheese out the final boss by just jumping on him, and it took a long time, but I did it. But uh, yeah, in that last stage, the one with the meteors flying by, if you time it right, you absolutely can grab those meteors if you're using punch and use them as a throwable object. As as our boy Techie Techie here has been able to demonstrate, you can pick up a lot of the stuff like in the world. Like that the blocks behind the characters right now on the other side there, they look like they're like part of the environment, but I'm pretty sure you can pick up those individual blocks. I think everything on this stage might be throwable. They don't particularly land anywhere, they just kinda move in that direction until they fall out of world and disappear. Okay, so I'm noticing that this guy has a foot. This uh, this Bigfoot character, I don't think there was a foot option when I was creating a robot. So I'm interested to see if I'm going to unlock that. Of course I'm going to auto fight, because as we've definitely determined, I'm no good. Looking at the... Uh, Watching the battles from this angle, I feel like the game would probably be more playable from this angle as if it was at, like an actual fighter. Like the Glomstein can turn so much faster than my controller will allow. I, f I almost feel like the AI is cheating. But now I'm just sounding salty. Yeah, you just got a big old foot. You know, it's not the correct amount of toes, but oh, it's all like bendy and shit. Yeah, that wasn't something I saw in the builder, so I'm really wondering if I'll unlock that. Because uh, the, the techie arms are exclusive to that techie techie, so I, I wonder if Bigfoot is another one that's, you know, not completely different from the rest, but has a, an unlockable part. So I remember, again, when I played this ages ago, I never changed my legs or body type or even made a second robot. Like, my friends made some robots. But I don't ever recall unlocking legs or bodies. Or eyes for that matter, just just a number of arms. So I got buckler and spear, my rank went up. Got all that fence. It, I didn't unlock that big foot though. Maybe there's more to it. Cause I like why would they put that in the game? Like why not give me the option to unlock literally everything I fight? And I, I understand that bosses would be an individual thing, but like give me that give me that big foot. Well, I can't seem to find anything quite as unique as Bigfoot or Techie Techie, but I found this guy, Droopnid, and I feel like his naming convention is very similar to my own, in which someone just slapped two syllables together and called it a day. And I mean, who can blame them? They're they're naming a hundred robots here. You're you're gonna run out of ideas. You're gonna you're gonna run out of references and such. So every now and then, you know, you Droopnid. Off to a pretty rough start. He seems to deal- oh wow, nope, never mind. That- that fucking hammer combo is strong. Yep, hammer- hammer sword combo seems pretty good. He's way better with that hammer than I could ever be. Oh, he managed to do the full body special, the spin. If you center that really well, it can be super damaging, because it just- it hits him for a while, like while the entire animation- if you clip him, not as much damage, but if you really center it, I think you can do some real shit. It's getting close though, I'm not liking it. Yeah, there we go. Alright, switching up once again, I think we're going with uh, Spear and Shield Type B. Let's see what he can do. I remember being pretty fond of that fire punch that uh, our boy Mojo here is rocking back in the day. It's another hammer-like thing where it, it extends forward, I think. Or maybe, yeah. Except without having a cord, it's like a, a rocket punch that comes back. But it's still kind of the same thing. It just looks a little different. Right off the bat, it looks like uh, I bit off more than I could chew for my boy Glomstink. It's not looking so great. And it was me doing all these such poor predictions. I don't know if I'm going to get to the first boss. But I mean, this is Robo Pit. Do we really care? In fact, I think we've seen enough Robo Pit. So I'm gonna I'm gonna finish up this video zoomed in on on a sad glom stink. You know what? I brought you into this world only to fight, only to feel pain on my behalf. And I'm sorry that you had to go through this, but I think we had some good times. And uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Saturn stuff in the future.